Hello everybody, Average Joe here, and we are back in Star Trek Online. We continue with the adventures of a Seika Sharuk Klingon warrior. <clears throat> Pains me to ask for assistance, but it seems I have no choice. The Tholians have captured a number of Romulan Star Empire ships. We need uh, you to free them. Scans indicate that they are being held by tractor beam emitters from asteroid be bases. <coughs> if you can disable the beams, you should be Our able to help. Our time here is limited. Stay focused. Plan your attacks and save as many ships as possible. Every loss is critical for my people. I am going to be the slow one of this match. That was quick. <laughs> Falchion Dreadnought is escaping. I appear to be stuck. <clears throat> A Falchion Dreadnought is escaping. Oh, good. Where are they going? Oh, another falchion. <clears throat> yeah, I kind of knew I was kind of be a little bit uh, helpless here, but hey. Exactly the ship I'd want, but hey. The heck are you? A Delon warbler is escaping. That way. <coughs> I'll probably get there just in time to see them uh, say that they've succeeded. <laughs> Talis Warbird is escaping. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't have the boost I need to get speedy.
We'll see how many goodies we can get that may or may not be good for me. Atalis War Atalis Warbird is escaping. Hey, there we go. There's a good ship. Now, if I can only get there in time. I am so much of a hulk here. Ooh, I have new abilities here. Far away. A Delon warbird is escaping. Okay. Actually, there's That one we want, because that's a falchion. Wanna go faster, wanna go faster. Get there just as they uh, free this darn thing. A Delon warbird is escaping. This is good. <laughs> I rolled a two on that last one. <laughs> Where am I going? Uh, oh, there we go. Did we already free that other one? No, we didn't. Oh. There's an item over here. Oh, kind of crappy. A items, but warbird is escaping. Apex Warbird is escaping! A Delon Warbird is escaping! No, I got stuck in the wall again!
I really want to make improvements to this ship, guys. Sorry for the needing all the time, but... <coughs> it will uh, help us in the long run. Oh, yay! Another falchion. They're so fast. <laughs> Regenerative shields. It's always good to have that. Be free, my brother. Be free. A falchion dreadnought <coughs> is escaping. Hey, there's another falchion right over there. Well, sort of. This one's a, a Hapax, I think. But this is uh, very good for my, uh, yeah, my stock of stuff has uh, improved a little bit. I missed the button. A Delon Warbird is escaping. Oh, hey. We got our goodies. Let's go with the fleet. Uh, any other items on for sale here? Report to Admiral Quinn. Huh? Well, Klingon doesn't report to an Admiral Qu uh, human. What is this? Ah, there we go. Yay! There we go. Now, back to our trip. <laughs> well done. The Romulan Republic owes us a debt and will not soon forget the might of the Klingon Empire. Too true. Serve the Empire well. Kapla! Kapla. Captain. I'm a commander, not a captain, but that's okay. Are you aware this system is a hotbed for Orion activity? The Syndicate doesn't want any problems with the Empire, but any that are, uh, but any that are dealing with illegal goods or worse, allied with House of Trog. Are you sure? Uh, are sure to be hostile? Bleh, I'm reading it wrong, but that's okay. <coughs> yes, I know that. I see a scannable dues. Two or three scannable dues, actually. Hydrazine gas. Let us get some of that. And then we can go scanning these uh, star bases.
take some Gramba to scan here without permission. I like that. Jewel of the Orion, huh? You won't take me alive. Will I now? Oh, I finally have my uh, evasive maneuvers marked too. Finally, I can move reasonably good. right here. Is it up there? It's probably up there. Scan my cargo, will you? I think you're overstepping your authority. Let's move this Hulk down a bit. That's more like it. Stand still or I will beat you up. Bangarang. I have another bangarang. Nice place to hide. Okay, now we're two. It says go here. So let's go here. As you can see, there's nothing here that the Empire needs to fear. There's one thing I can't stand is being scanned without being asked first. Begin to indicate a large residue of radiation at this facility. The weapons must be here. I can't. I'm gonna wait. What the heck is attacking me anyway? Oh, it's a break. that for a water purification thing. Alright, well let's read this this time without the battle in for ensuing. Scans indicate a large amount of residue radiation. Residual radiation at this facility. The weapons must be here. I can't pinpoint the location, though. They threw up some sort of a locally localized dampening field as soon as we try to lock on to the source of the readings. 
We will need to beam down and disable the field before we can transport, uh, get a transporter lock on the crates. Very well. There should be a console nearby to, uh, get rid of the dampening field. You mean force shield. The dampening field is down, sir, but we still have a difficulty getting a transporter lock. The weapons must be in the area. It has a partial se uh, sensor shielding. I suggest we mark the crates. If I can handle Feklar, you are nothing, dorks. left. Always good to get some extra goodies. Transport. Oh, trooper! Come this way. Nobody else? Oh, Sadness. What's this? I see another crate. Borg weaponry, huh? Oh, hey, there's another one right here. Cool. I wonder if there's another one in the other room. Nope. Don't... S don't see any. I am detecting several beings behind that door. We'll follow you into battle. Biggin, aren't you? You big ugly sod. Ow! Don't do that. You're not supposed to be trying to run after me. You galoot. Ow. <clears throat> Always the fun thing about a, uh, the Gorn is they're big and powerful. And most of the time, annoying. Oh, trooper! Say hello to my grenade. Point blank. <coughs> down. And stay down. The Gorn. Biggin. <laughs> There's all kinds of goodies in this place. <laughs> Boink. And there's our other two crates. There we go. 
Easy. All the crates are on board the Teneg, sir. Let's beam aboard. We just did a Klingon raid. <laughs> I understand that you have the weapons I purchased from the House of Torg. Give them to me now. I won't ask again. Warning. You want to try to do that to me? Well then, fine. That was easy. Not right now. I am scanning a, a different thing. Wow, that worked. <laughs> now we can depart the system. Romulans. So that's who the House of Torg was selling to. That's one more loss you dealt the House of Torg. Someday they'll want revenge. And the crew of the Tanang will be ready. Yeah, well, they, they've been kind of reduced to thugs nowadays. That's what happens when you believe that your honor is not without uh, question. Well done. I will send a transport to get the weapons from your ship. I will not condone the use of Borg weapons. They, uh, there is no honor in it. We did so. If we did so, we might have some victories. But the repercussions of that act will be a, a pale would be a pale on the Empire for generations to come. I'm confused, but that's okay. So what are we gonna do? Ooh, neutronium alloy. Pity that doesn't do any better. Beam weapons. Particle generator. That one. Serve the Empire well. Okay, Commander, a bird of prey is on a very important mission has gone wrong in Romulan space. We've received a brief burst of its emergency transponder, but then it was went silent. We don't know what happened, but it is vital that we recover the ship's data recorder and all of its sensor data. I want you to report to the Orith system. It is the last known location of the ship. Find the vessel. And if there are survivors, you are authorized to assist them. However, the recovery of the data is your primary concern. So their secondary goals. Good. Serve the Empire. So which one are we doing anyway? Well, we're done with Vigilant. Oh, we're on Alpha. Okay, good. So that means we need to go to the Arith system. Whee! Alpha. Welcome to Chapter Alpha. Captain, the Bird of Prey active... The Bird of Prey activated its emergency beacon in the Arith system. Let's cloak. But the transmission stopped after less than six minutes. This is the best place to start our search. It may be uh, still be in orbit, or it could be a crash landed on the planet. I'm ready to begin sensor sweeps. Uh, okay. Well, let's scan the system then. There's too much radiation from our uh, Arith Prime. Oh, goody. It's scrambling the sensor signals. I recommend that we attempt a narrow attempt to narrow down the area search with intensive scans in key areas. Okay. Then let's play hide-and-go-seek with whoever's here. Didn't quite want to do that, but eh, that's okay. Oh, Ion Nebula. That's good. Captain Raiders have been reported in this region. I don't think they would hate, hesitate to target a KDF vessel.
That's okay, raiders aren't too tough. I have a detailed scan of the Ion Nebula, sir. I can compensate for the effects of the uh, on the sensors now. I'm detecting a cluster of debris behind the large asteroid. Metallic content so is consistent with the ship. <coughs> Recommend we approach, but if it's a bird of prey, there might be some of it left to salvage. Sensors are picking up a residue of a trace of disruptor fire. Well, where? Calibrating the sensors. This wreckage isn't the bird of prey, Captain. Ship is under attack. No, it's not. I just hit the wrong button. I'm reading both Romulan and Nausicaan alloys in the mass. There are signals of energy weapons discharges, sir. There was a battle here. Sensors have further been refined to compensate for the polarization of the shadows caused by the debris. supposed to go. It says go that away. Somewhere. Laser cannons, huh? I mean plasma cannons. Go to the planet? Okay. Calibrate for at radiation anomaly. Radiation anomaly? Oh, down there. Oops. sensors again. Multiple warp signatures detected. They're hailing coming in, sir. I'll put it on screen. This is pirate space and we answer to no one. Leave or die, coward. Bunch of frigates? Give me a break. My drone. Have some more fun. Are we confused yet? <laughs> You're attacking my shadow. Me and my shadow. Bang, 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 bang. I'm so glad I'm finally at a level I can do that. <laughs> okay. Now what? We will never surrender. Will you now? Nausicaan Pirates? Oh, hello. Warning. Ship is under attack. 
so it is. But then again, so are they. My ship is bigger. And more powerful. <laughs> Establish orbit. Got it, Captain. Sensors are detecting an enemy signature on the surface of Rift 2. That corresponds to the Klingon Bird of Prey. It is heavily damaged, but the warp core didn't breach. There could be survivors. We need to get closer to set up an away team. Wait, well done. Let us beam down. Me and my entourage. I am detecting a band of fistrum in the uh, rock formation here. That will scatter the transporter signal. So this is as close as we can get to the bird of prey safely. We need to make our way to higher ground. that way. Nice little jungle world here we got. This isn't right. The tricorder range is reduced to 60%. There are fistrum deposits in this area along with traces amounts of uh, kelpanite that would account for some of the variations but there is something else. Maybe my tricorder is malfunction. But, if I didn't know any better, I think it was a jammer of some sort. Thank you, sir. It's not the tricorder. And it is not the mineral deposits. There's a low-level Teutonic field in the area. It will affect the tri uh, tricorders and transporters. I think it's our... Weapons, uh, I think our weapons will still work. Strange though, naturally occurring to tonic fields, duonetic fields wouldn't be this consistent. Maybe artificially generated. Yes, I kind of figured that too. Captain, the Venang is already having trouble keeping sensor locks on us. It won't be able to, uh, won't be safe for us to use the transporters again unless we use a pattern enhancer. Very well, let's set up a pattern, er pattern enhancer. Why did we need a cutscene for that? Well, there's a lot of neat locations. Didn't see any monsters or anything, but okay. Did see some monsters. Yeah, there we go. Hello, critters. Okay, that was interesting. Go to the crash site. Wait. Why are there dots here? Decaying corpses, decaying corpses, decaying corpses. Ah, okay. That's what it's interesting here. Whoa. the heck was that? The King Gorn.
The wounds on this body were inflicted by energy weapons, but that wasn't but it wasn't a disruptor. There's something strange in this jungle, and I don't think we're alone. Are we playing out a part where as if we're being hunted by a predator? <laughs> oh boy. Plagiarism with pride. This warrior put up a fight before dying. I picked up three different blood types, two of which are not Klingon. I feel eyes watching from us, uh, watching us from the jungle. Captain, there are many dangers here. You think? Hi there, wormies. Saber cat. This beast eating a body, it looks like someone from the bird of prey. What should we do? His body is an empty shell. It is meaningless. Standard Klingon thing to do. I found a trail, Captain. It leads to the rocky ground and then disappears. This warrior was hunted by something that walked upright. The animals are not are not the most dangerous thing here. Now, got to talk to the saber cat. Why approach the cat? Uh, I am confused. Why did it have us go back to the cat? Hi, kitty. Stop lagging, you silly computer. It would take hunters with great cunning to overcome the trained, uh, trained Klingon warrior. This one fought bravely but was taken down by at least two attackers with blades. Animals could not make those wounds. So we need to make our way that way. Hi there, worms. Be nice if I target the right target. I have a doggy of my own. Alright, now let's see what else holds for us. Ah, oh, the ship. Captain, I recommend that we uh, get a baseline scan around the area. Not much left of the ship after a crash like that, apparently. I'm picking up some life forms, sir, but the radiation of the ship reactor is affecting my tricorders.
Captain Kanang. There was no mechanical failure. My ship was shot down. <coughs> we ran into Nausicans in this system. The pirates were a trivial concern, but they got a lucky shot at our port nacelle. I had to take shields offline until my engineer could get in there and patch up the power couplings. That's when the Herojan attacked. The cowards waited until we were almost defenseless. A third of my crew survived the crash. We stayed close to the ship and tried to get the emergency beacon working. But the Herojan jammed our signals with a dual-netic field. They never stopped hounding us. The Herojan destroyed our supplies, stole our medkits, sabotaged our weapons. And then, when we were weakened, they started hunting us. I've lost more than a dozen warriors. I don't know how many are left. Very well. We'll have to go look for survivors that are all over the place. Romulan. Captain, we need to keep these green-blooded vipers close. All, for all we know, he had something to do with the destruction of the ship. Captain, this warrior survived the crash. In fact, I'm not detecting any signs of trauma. What there is here, though, are weapons marked from... An extremely sharp blade. <coughs> Defensive wounds by the look of them. The trace of blood trail back to the s its source. I found a secondary... Second drag path to two sets of footprints. Those warriors died trying to defend someone from... Uh, someone else. Someone who was taken. does have the markings of Herojan. This person survived the impact but died soon after of blood loss. Today, a New York warrior is in Stovacor. I'm detecting, detecting electrical burns and plasma damage. Captain... And there are places of shrapnel that could have come from an exploding console embedded in the skin. These warriors died with honor. There is nothing to indicate that anyone on the ship left their post. Detecting three level of uh, third level three radiation burns and severe heat damage. This person <coughs> must have been very close to the power conduit when it exploded. This warrior was killed by brute blunt force trauma, sir. The wound could have been caused by the force of the crash. If the ship's internal dampeners were offline before the ship hit the atmosphere, it is likely that many of the crew were killed this way. Captain, my captain. I'll fight until my last... That's... I feel my strength returning. My vessel was on a reconnaissance mission. We surveyed several Talshar bases and entered the Raider system under cloak. 
We have complete scans of the Romulan's defenses and what could be data on a new type of Romulan ship. Oh, yeah. There is a complication, however. When we were leaving the last base, we detected a Romulan shuttle attempting to hide its energy signature in our warp trail. I ordered the shuttle disabled, and its pilot brought aboard for questioning. <laughs> I plan to take the Petak back to Quonus. When the Nausicans knocked our power offline, though, he escaped the brig and sabotaged our computers, encrypting our sensor data. You'll need to get past the Romulan security lockout to get the data. If you can't break his code, I'm sure you can convince him to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Very well then. Some of the ship systems should have power. If we can find the terminal, uh, it should re that is still relatively intact. We should be able to use it to access the ship's core data. Other side, Jeremy. Captain, if you don't want to take this task, I'm sure that the Romulan captive could be persuaded. Use motivation. You strike an unarmed man and call yourself an honorable warrior. Pathetic! <laughs> I see now that Klingon words of honor are much like Klingon tales of glory in battle. A few are true, but most are simply stories told to entertain chill. Here's your precious sensor data. I hope it was worth it. I, for one, learned a great deal about you. A reasonably intelligent officer would have been able to bypass that security lockout. You, however, had to resort to brutish violence. I'm a Klingon. <laughs> You're just a Romulan. Intelligence is your thing. Kapla! I am ready to leave this planet. I'll follow you back to the transport point. Very well. Stupid engine. Uh, Romulan. We're ready for transport. Treacherous Herogen the scum! The Herogen's gonna interrupt. Holy cats, that's a lot of them. Go! Catch that patak of a Romulan! Here I will stand. My crew will be avenged. Stupid Romulan running like a coward. You're not running very fast there, buddy. Just saying. Fine, we'll kill the Herogen. You saw that I just about had that dinger. And then he ran. Gotta run back up to there so he can escape. Yeah, well there he goes. 
I'm detect detecting Klingon life signs ahead. There could be more survivors from the crash. What the... Miserable Chopa! These hunters will have no honor. If they did, they wouldn't keep warriors caged like animals. I recommend that we free them and send them back to the pattern enhancers. And then return ourselves. Sound like a good idea. She had to have pattern enhancer. Kapla. Alright, time for you to reappear there, buddy. Oh, nice of you to join us. I submit to your will. Among my people, that would make you bound to protect me as you would an honored guest. So, guard me now, if you are truly honorable. A large force of Herogen are coming this way. I won't survive without your assistance. Take him. It's not clear what Regent knows of Captain. <clears throat> Captain Katang's mission. But we do know that he want, uh, wanted us to capture him and escape the Herogen. But it is uh, up to you whether we do. Secure the prisoner and prepare to move out. You won't regret this. If I ever return to my home, I will tell my people that there is at least one officer of the Empire who truly knows the meaning of the word honor. Lead the way. I will follow willingly. Yeah, but I think he's already been... Flattened. Nope. No, it's okay. The heck was that? It stopped me in my walking. Mines. Stop mines. How annoying. Alright. Well, off we go then. Hang on, what are these? crewman that needs to be saved. I think. Take prisoner. These scheming Patak are using me and my crewmates as bait for their traps. There is a spatial charge underneath me. It is wired to explode if I move. You might be able to disarm it if you cut the right wire. Save me, or let me die with my honor intact. I could use a better crewman. Well, that didn't quite work. Apparently, I'm supposed to cut them all. Oh, hiya, Herogen. <laughs> Leave him to the Herogen optional. Find one of four trapped. Me your stuff. I mean, yeah, I know about the Herogen, but uh, I'd rather help these uh, crewmen if I can help them. The last guy kind of cut before the time ran out, so let's uh, let's help him this time. What? I suck at these things, apparently. Give me a, a target, darn it.
down, you big loot. Well, it's, it says I have to find them. It doesn't say I have to actually save them. I just have to try. Okay, well, let's just cut the right wires then. Let's try to cut the right wires. Try this last one last time. There they go. Where are they? There you go. Come on, wrinkle faces. Those things are very annoying, but we're ready to go to the ship now. Couldn't save them, but uh, I did get them. What's this? Strange plants. Eyeball plants! Ugh! Captain, the eyes of these plants have a unique conductive property, very similar to a multifaceted crystal lens. I think they could be adapted to fit to our weapons. It could be interesting to test their effectiveness. If the uh, tests are successful, it could be a boon to the Empire. Okay, well, we need to go up from here somehow. I think we've fully explored this area. Yeah, this looks like where we need to go. One last there road. You are. Let us talk of victory! <laughs> yes, let's, Captain. I didn't think you survived. Alright everybody, get up here. Captain, where are you? Oh, yes, let's talk of sir, victory, I guess. We have to listen to him before we go. Ha ha! I slew the Herogen's leader in combat! <laughs> and then caught most of the rest of them in the blast! It was glorious! Yes, it was. But... There is still glory to be had. A second Herogen Alpha still stalks this jungle. I led him here. Prepare for battle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's. All right, Alpha. I rule this jungle and everything in it is my prey. You may have evaded some of my traps, but that only prolonged the hunt. <laughs> The high ground cannot help you. It is a prison. You're trapped, and my hunters are circling. Your hunters are dead. I will give my initiates the honor of killing you. They need the taste of blood to keep them hungry for more. Well, 
Okay, fine. Your hunters are still around. They were unworthy. Or perhaps I was unwise. Did I underestimate you, little warrior? Are you more fearsome than you appear? Yes. It doesn't matter. You are prey. You will die like the rest. We'll hide now. Oh, hi. Alright, let's speak with Kanang. Kapla! You are a friend to me and my house. You saved me and my warriors from being hunted like targs in a pit. I will not forget. When we meet again, we will drink a barrel of my family's finest blood wine. Have you ever had the 2309 vintage? No, I haven't, but I do have a prisoner. Excellent. I have many questions for this one. <laughs> Before I am through, he will tell us all he knows. Then he will beg for death. Perhaps I'll carve the names of every one of my crew into his back. That way, he will carry them with him for the rest of his Psst. miserable, short life. As you wish, Captain. Alright. Beam us up. So long, Romulan. Alright. Where the feck are we? Oh. There we go. All the ship is a loss. You're saving Kane uh, Kateng is a great boon for our efforts in this sector. Well done, Commander. Ooh, a Rojan gun. Kapla! That is the end of the chapter. Tune in next time for Asaka's next greatest challenge. Don't know the name of it, but we're gonna do it anyway. Ha 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 ha! Anyway, this is Edward Joe saying TTFN. Ta-ta for now, and as always, hit that like button if you liked it. If you liked it even better, hit that subscribe button, because we need more. Lots more. More for the glory and the honor of the Klingon Empire. Well, at least for me. <laughs> anyway, um, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, <laughs> this is Average Joe saying TTFN. Ta-ta for now. Don't forget to hit that like button. I mean, yeah, that one. I already said that. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get some notifications. Some or all, that's up to you. But with that in mind, I will see you after these messages. Bye-bye now.